OG influencer before Instagram even existed? Talk about a trailblazer. So, like, how did Estee Lauder even start this beauty empire? Was it all, like, DIY magic or what? Who hasn't heard of Estee Lauder, the iconic cosmetics brand that has graced the faces of countless generations? How did this iconic brand, renowned for its timeless allure, find itself entangled in a narrative of fluctuating fortunes? In the annals of beauty, Estee Lauder shone as a beacon of luxury. Founded in 1946 by Estee Lauder herself, the brand started as a humble collection of skin creams and lotions. With determination and an unwavering belief in the quality of her products, Estee embarked on a mission to transform the beauty industry. Imagine having a skincare empire without TikTok to promote it. How did Estee Lauder manage back in the day? Let's see, starting as a small-scale venture, Estee's line of skin creams and lotions quickly gained recognition for their effectiveness and quality. But it wasn't just the products that set Estee Lauder apart, it was her personal touch. Estee's hands-on approach, combined with her boundless energy and passion, allowed her to connect with customers on a deeper level. Her belief that every woman could be beautiful resonated, giving her brand a unique and empowering identity. As the years progressed, Estee Lauder expanded its offerings, introducing a range of products that catered to various aspects of beauty. However, it was the creation of the iconic fragrance Youth Dew that catapulted the brand into the limelight, a fragrance that also doubled as a bath oil. Youth Dew became a symbol of sensuality and sophistication, appealing to women seeking a touch of luxury in their everyday lives. The brand's commitment to innovation and excellence remained steadfast. Estee Lauder was a pioneer in recognizing the power of the gift with purchase concept, revolutionizing the way cosmetics were marketed. This innovative approach not only enhanced customer loyalty, but also solidified the brand's reputation for generosity and value. With each product, Estee Lauder was not just selling cosmetics. She was selling a lifestyle, an experience of elegance and self-assurance. Her story, too, was intertwined with the brand's narrative reflecting the essence of a self-made woman who defied conventions and norms to redefine beauty on her terms. As the decades unfolded, Estee Lauder's brand continued to thrive, evolving from a small enterprise into a global beauty powerhouse. Its legacy of luxury, empowerment, and innovation left an indelible mark on the industry. Yet, even the grandest legacy is not immune to the forces of change. The source of Estee Lauder's unexpected upheaval decades back emerged from an unsuspecting quarter, Asia. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that Estee Lauder was like, hey, Asia, let's be BFFs way before everyone was into K-beauty and J-beauty? Among the chapters that defined Estee Lauder's ascent to global prominence, none were as pivotal as its successful foray into the Asian market. This continent, with its rich cultural tapestry and burgeoning consumer base, proved to be a transformative force in the brand's narrative. The journey into Asia was marked by strategic decisions and a deep understanding of local preferences. Estee Lauder's entry into the Asian market decades back was not merely a replication of its Western success. It was a testament to the brand's adaptability and commitment to resonating with diverse audiences. China, a market characterized by its sheer size and economic dynamism, emerged as a focal point. As the country transitioned from an industrial powerhouse to a consumer-driven economy, a new class of affluent individuals emerged, seeking quality, authenticity, and prestige. This helped Estee Lauder regain what they lost. The brand's products resonated deeply with Chinese consumers, aligning with cultural values of beauty and elegance. The meticulous attention to detail that defined Estee Lauder's offerings found resonance in the Chinese appreciation for craftsmanship and sophistication. This synergy between product and culture laid the foundation for a mutually beneficial relationship. The Asian allure extended beyond China. Estee Lauder recognized the diversity within the continent and adapted its strategies accordingly. Southeast Asian markets embraced the brand's commitment to luxury, while countries like South Korea showcased a penchant for skincare innovation. The brand's ability to adapt while maintaining its core values endeared it to Asian consumers. Perhaps the most compelling facet of Estee Lauder's rise in Asia was its embrace of the digital age. 
e-commerce and social media platforms provided avenues for the brand to engage directly with consumers. By harnessing the power of influencer marketing and personalized online experiences, Estee Lauder fostered a connection that transcended geographic boundaries. Okay, but for real, can we take a moment to appreciate how Asia played a major role in Estee Lauder's rise? Talk about global collaboration. The culmination of these efforts was the elevation of Estee Lauder to an aspirational status. The brand's products were not just commodities. They were symbols of aspiration and elegance. The iconic gold packaging and the aura of luxury it exuded resonated deeply with Asian consumers, seeking a touch of sophistication in their lives. As Estee Lauder's presence flourished across Asia, the brand's financial metrics echoed the success. Revenue streams from the region surged, often outpacing growth rates in other parts of the world. The rise in Asian affluence, coupled with Estee Lauder's strategic approach, allowed the brand to establish a firm foothold in this dynamic market. Skincare aficionados are always curious to discover the key active ingredients in skincare products. Estee Lauder, in a similar vein, boasts a range of core ingredients that form the bedrock of their skincare line. Vitamin C, peptides, and retinol. These potent ingredients are the driving forces behind the efficacy and popularity of their skincare offerings. Vitamin C, renowned for its potent anti-aging properties, works to rejuvenate the skin. Meanwhile, peptides and retinol penetrate deep into the skin's layers, fostering suppleness, firmness, and smoothness. This strategic blend of rock star ingredients has earned Estee Lauder's products the well-deserved label of best. For those seeking a movie star finish for their skin, Estee Lauder has become the ultimate destination. The brand's product recommendations have become a treasure trove for individuals in pursuit of beauty transformation. Ever wondered what makes Estee Lauder's products a sensation in the beauty world? What's the secret behind that youthful glow and radiant skin? Are you ready to discover the allure of Estee Lauder's iconic formulas? As the beauty industry evolves, Estee Lauder continues to captivate the market with its range of innovative products. The iconic Advanced Night Repair Formula, celebrated for its exceptional efficacy, has solidified its place as the go-to face serum in Estee Lauder's arsenal. This serum, renowned for delivering eight hours of antioxidant power and 72 hours of hydration, imparts a plump and smooth appearance to the skin. While Estee Lauder loyalists have their classic favorites, the brand has also introduced a slew of new products that are rapidly gaining cult status. Among these, the Advanced Night Repair Serum shines as a crowd favorite, but the innovation doesn't stop there. The perfectly clean multi-action foam cleanser purifying mask is a creamy formula that effectively removes makeup, leaving the skin refreshed and hydrated. The Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream stands out for its non-acnogenic formula, offering a radiant glow while addressing signs of aging. The Daywear Sheer Tint Release Moisturizer caters to those seeking an anti-aging solution with its SPF 15 protection and fine line reducing properties. Meanwhile, the Perfectionist CP Plus R Wrinkle Lifting Firming Serum refreshes and lifts the skin, making it a must have for rejuvenation enthusiasts. Estee Lauder's product lineup extends to addressing specific concerns. The Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher stands as the ultimate solution for refining pores, while the Soft Clean Moisture Rich Foaming Cleanser is a go-to for effective makeup removal. The Daywear Moisturizer, rich in antioxidants, offers a refreshing and long-lasting solution. Amid the echoes of triumph, a whisper of unforeseen turbulence began to circulate. Why did Estee Lauder's shares nosedive by a staggering 22%? What force had infiltrated the realms of beauty and altered the company's trajectory? Was this the pivotal juncture that had been silently approaching? The answer lay in the intricate tapestry of the global market, woven with threads of economic shifts and consumer behaviors that even the savviest experts couldn't entirely predict. Whoa, talk about a roller coaster ride. One minute they're ruling the beauty game, and the next, they're facing a fall. Drama much. The very architects of Estee Lauder's illustrious legacy and the towering empire it became, the Asians, have now turned the tides of fate. 
Dealing a bitter blow, the collaborators in its ascent have now become the architects of its downfall. As the world turned its gaze toward the beauty titan, a series of unexpected events sent shockwaves through the industry. On a fateful day, Estee Lauder's shares plunged dramatically, leaving investors and analysts perplexed. The cause of this sudden decline? A forecast that painted a grim picture of the brand's future. The cosmetics maker's projections were far from rosy. Estee Lauder announced a significant downward revision of its full-year 2023 net sales forecast, now expected to plummet between 10% and 12%, a stark contrast to its previous projection of a 5% to 7% decrease. The ripple effects of the ongoing challenges were becoming undeniable, casting a cloud over the brand's once-glowing prospects. The blame was placed squarely on the slow recovery of Estee Lauder's travel retail division, particularly in Asia. The very regions that were anticipated to fuel the brand's growth were proving to be stumbling blocks. Despite the relaxation of pandemic-related restrictions, the expected influx of travelers turning into luxury beauty consumers did not materialize as projected. The spotlight turned to Estee Lauder's struggles in major shopping districts, with specific attention on Hainan, China's southernmost province, and Korea. While these locales witnessed increased foot traffic, the conversion of visitors into buyers within the luxury beauty sector lagged. The story was complicated further by the impact of rising COVID-19 cases, leading to destocking by retailers, especially in the early months of 2023. Meanwhile, in the same industry landscape, European luxury giants like LVMH and L'Oreal experienced an upward trajectory in sales during the first quarter. These companies capitalized on the rebound in Asia as China eased its COVID-19 restrictions in the previous year. The stark contrast between these successes and Estee Lauder's struggles painted a sobering picture of the beauty landscape's complexities. The magnitude of Estee Lauder's fall was captured in the numbers. The company's shares plummeted to a six-month low of 190.30, a staggering 17% drop to 270 at close. This sharp decline led to questions about the company's leadership and strategic direction. Analysts and market observers were left in disbelief, with Barclays analyst Lauren Lieberman describing the forecast as unexpected even by the street. Estee Lauder's CFO, Tracy Travis, addressed the market's concerns during a post-earnings call. She acknowledged that improvement was visible in the travel retail sector, particularly in China and Korea. Throughout the third quarter, the company even anticipated double-digit sales growth from this segment. However, Travis admitted that predicting the normalization of travel in these regions was a challenge, adding an additional layer of uncertainty to the narrative. The brand's woes extended beyond the shores of Asia. In the U.S., a major market for Estee Lauder, organic sales began to decline, a stark contrast to the double-digit growth the company had witnessed in the previous fiscal year. This trend highlighted the shifting dynamics of the beauty market, as millennials and Gen Z consumers began to assert their influence, favoring newer and smaller brands over established giants. The challenges weren't solely external. They also stemmed from within the industry. Estee Lauder found itself grappling with the growth of smaller competitors, often referred to as indies, who were making significant gains in the beauty space. The company's legacy brands, while beloved by loyal customers, faced stiff competition from innovative upstarts, leading to a re-evaluation of market dynamics. In the midst of these struggles, the strong dollar exacerbated Estee Lauder's challenges. With global operations spanning continents, the company's need to convert foreign currencies into the greenback amplified the impact of currency fluctuations on its bottom line. The brand's forecasted adjusted per share profit decline of 50% to 51%, compared to its earlier projection of 27% to 29%, further demonstrated the depth of its challenges. Despite the brand's third quarter sales exceeding expectations, Estee Lauder missed profit estimates, underscoring the complexity of navigating a rapidly evolving market landscape. As the beauty industry braced itself for a paradigm shift, the story of Estee Lauder's fall became emblematic of the unpredictable and interconnected forces that can dismantle even the most entrenched of empires. Even after the so-called rise, 
The tremors that happened were felt not only within the boardrooms of Estee Lauder, but throughout the industry. The travel retail division, once a crowning jewel, struggled to regain its former glory. The sector's faltering echoed across the globe, raising questions about the brand's future trajectory. As the curtain falls on this chapter of Estee Lauder's Chronicle, the echoes of uncertainty resonate. Will this titan of beauty rise from the ashes, reclaiming its throne with renewed vigor?